I'm Dave Lapham, and you're listening to In the Trenches with Dave Lapham, brought to you by First Star Logistics. And we're talking injuries. The National Football League, it's always all about dealing with injuries. That's why roster depth is such an important scenario. And teams that have productive seasons, successful seasons, avoid the injury bug. Honestly, the best teams that I ever played on and the best seasons those teams had we did not lose a key player for a long period of time. You know, you have to be fortunate from an injury standpoint, and a lot of that is luck. But if you do sustain an injury, you have to have roster depth. Next man up, somebody has to step up. That's the bottom line, and that's the slogan everybody in the NFL uses. Next man up, what are you going to do? That's why you make a roster in the National Football League, and the Bengals' depth in their roster is much better than it has been in the past. If Joe Mixon, who I think is day-to-day -day at this point in time, if he's unable to go against the Green Bay Packers, Samaj P. Ryan showed last year that he can run the football. I mean, he beat up the Houston Texans in, with an opportunity, rushed for like 140 yards against the Houston Texans uh, last year. He rushed for over 400 yards in one game in college when he was at Oklahoma against the University of Kansas. I mean, it's not like he's not capable of running the football. He's also a very capable puts pickup guy and everything goes along with it. Chris Evans is another guy that would get more snaps potentially in a rotation if Joe Mixon's down and the other two have to play. He's already shown that he can uh, run routes. He can get down the football field against linebackers and safeties, run good routes, and catch the football. He's also capable of running the football as a running back, and then you'd see – for the first time, Chris Evans having an opportunity to make a statement in the National Football League running the football. That's what happens. That's what that's what the NFL is all about. Let's just go back to last week. You know, against Trevor Lawrence and the weapons that the Jacksonville Jaguars have, you want to have all hands on deck in the secondary. Well, they didn't have a Wouzier, and they didn't have Bates. So what did they do? Well, Phillips. Darius Phillips steps up. Eli Apple uh, takes snaps at the corner position as well. And, and Brandon Wilson plays the safety position and, and did a good job. And it trickled down. Now you have to make some adjustments in your kick return game because Brandon Williams, Wilson is playing more defensive snaps. You have to have somebody else returning kicks. So injuries have a ripple effect up and down the entire roster. And managing your roster with respect to, you know, next man up from an injury standpoint is what it's all about in the National Football League. The good news is that Joe Mixon has a long week to recover from the ankle tweak, whatever it may be. So if it happened on Sunday, might be less of a chance for him to play against the Green Bay Packers than it happening on the prior Thursday. You have three more days of rehabilitation, and these guys heal so quickly. They're in such good shape. I mean, you know, three days is, is a big, big deal when you're talking about an injury like that. There are no broken bones or anything like that. You know, I mean, ankle sprains by definition, it's – it's like there's first, second, third degree and tear. You know, I mean, it's, what what degree is the is the stretch in the ligament and, or tendon or whatever the problem is with within the ankle? So um, having those extra days is is a big plus. And the defensive backs that we already talked about, they're going to be back. They'll be back for this football game. And hallelujah, all you're playing is Aaron Rodgers. You want to have as many guys in the secondary as many as your as your starters in the secondary as you possibly can, and have as much depth in the secondary as you possibly can when you're playing a talent like Aaron Rodgers. So, you know, there's, there's ebb and flow in injuries and it does, it's crazy how it happens by position position group will get hit. Like, you know, last week, Jaguars, it was the secondary. Another week, it's going to be the offensive line. Another week, it's going to be the linebacker. It's just, it's crazy how it just, it, it kind of almost like a virus and will spread to a position group from position group one to another. It's, it's crazy how it works in the national football league. But that's what it's all about. It's how good are your backups? How good are people that you're going to bring off your practice squad, potentially, to play some special teams for you, whatever the case may be? You know, it's not just your starting 11, your starting 22, um, you know, your, 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 your top 50. It's your top 69 these days. You, you're trying to get the best 69 football players you possibly can get in filling out your practice squad and your, your roster and then the guys are going to be active on game day. There's deactivations in that roster, obviously, on game day. But it's a, it's, it's a, it's always in fluid. It's always flowing from one, one position group to another in terms of having to handle the injury. 
The Bengals handled the injury in the secondary against the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I think they're going to be handle, be able to handle this injury uh, with respect to the Green Bay Packers if, in fact, Joe Mixon can't go. And the thing to bear in mind with all of these injuries, all these players, Trey Waynes came, he played for the first time in a year and a half, basically, um, you know, against the Jacksonville Jaguars and did okay. I think he's going to do a lot better probably this week against the Green Bay Packers. Um, you know, the, the, the thing to bear in mind is if guys are playing hurt, you know, there's a difference between being injured and not able to play and playing hurt. And if you do play hurt, there's a good chance that you may not be able to finish the game because you may exacerbate the problem a little bit and go from hurt to injured and not be able to uh, to go out there and perform. So that's always a big, big factor, a big, big influence in uh, in what a head coach, a big part of a head coach's responsibility on a weekly basis is conferring with the medical people, making the best decisions possible in terms of handling the injury on a week-to-week -week basis in the National Football League. Hi, Dave Lapham here. Have you heard about In the Trenches with Dave Lapham presented by First Star Logistics? Catch new episodes from the world of sports and broadcasting. Search for In the Trenches with Dave Lapham on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts.